the other messengers, and again, hormones are the messengers in our system. They, sell, they do cell to cell, tissue to tissue, organ to organ um, messages. I mentioned already the adrenal stress index and the sex hormones are uh, very important and directly impact the um, immune system. We do a full thyroid panel also, which means that we do a TSH, that is the pituitary output of thyroid production. We do a T4, which is the thyroid output of your metabolism. We do a T3, which is the final conversion in the liver to result in a healthy metabolism. So metabolism also refers to the energy processing in our cells. So we have to look at how our cells are pro uh, processing um, energy to uh, truly return to a, a full state of health. We have to look at inflammation. Inflammation triggers the immune system. It signals to the brain that it's sick and that signals to the immune system uh, to further activate and further get imbalanced and, and it just complicates the, the, the process. So we look at two big markers, high sensitivity C-reactive protein and this HCY stands for homocysteine. Both of these uh, have impacts well beyond the immune system also. Both of these are probably the most important cardiovascular markers and n neither of these can be felt you there's no outside indication that you have high levels of these blood markers nothing tells you until you start to have a uh, symptom and a disease process that's beginning we need to do insulin sensitivity testing Getting sugar into the cell and processing that sugar is part of creating energy. So on just a purely um, cellular energy and healing uh, level, we have to know that your insulin is working for you, that your blood sugar is regulated properly. But insulin uh, sensitivity or insensitivity, insulin resistance, is a stressor to your adrenal system too. So you're going to get a, a change in your cortisol output, which also directly impacts uh, the immune system if you have insulin resistance or insulin insensitivity. And then we do your traditional labs, the CMP, uh, that's a comprehensive metabolic profile, which is your fats, proteins, minerals, and enzymes. The enzymes are markers for general uh, organ stress and vitamin D. Vitamin D impacts one of the most important immune cells that we haven't mentioned so far and it's called a T regulatory cell and it literally as the name implies it regulates the number of T helper cells which are kind of like the gas pedal for the immune system and the T suppressor cells so it's kind of like the office of the president uh, directing and coordinating its cabinets, which ultimately results in changes in the military and the CIA, and um, it's, it's uh, quite a good analogy there. So vitamin D impacts the office of the president, the T regulatory cells, so it's very important to have that marker. And then we diagnose and treat the process. Pathology, disease, destruction, even symptoms are the circumstances what we want to um, achieve in our diagnosis is the road to the circumstances. We want to know how you got to the circumstances. Um, we can do something about the road. We can do something about the adaptive shifts that um, occur. Many times we can't do a whole lot about the consequences. Uh, and and neither, neither can medicine. Like in Hashimoto's uh, thyroiditis, the autoimmune attack on the thyroid tissues, they just start replacing the hormone. There's, there's no treatment of the process. There's nothing they can do to preserve the gland. There's nothing that it can do to change your immune system. You probably know that the only medical treatment for the immune system is, is uh, steroids or uh, chemotherapy, which are immune suppressive uh, drugs. And 
while it's possible that immune suppression could be healthy, I guess it's possible, we wouldn't want to do that unless we did your T and B lymphocytes and we found that both sides are sky high. Both sides are overactive and then maybe a immune suppressive I would still prefer a something that's going to slow down the immune system um, versus a chemotherapy medication. But anyway, point being is, is if you're going to suppress your immune system, you better know that your immune system is too high on both sides. Um, as you'll see in a just, just a few moments here, there's way more gentle, way more effective, and way healthier ways to balance and resolve these immune imbalances that uh, result in this destructive process. And uh, when we change these things, I really do, I expect improvement and, and uh, you can expect improvement in your symptoms, in your condition, in the destructive process.